Welcome back my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reload from the Hot Pot. Today we got in another cardboard box. Now it's kind of obvious what's in this cardboard box. We picked up a Heritage Manufacturing Incorporated Rough Rider Revolver. So let's open up this box and go through the box. See what all we get with this. First we get some paperwork. We get um, the owner's manual here. It's done quite well. Shows everything about it. What's going on with it. How to secure it. Notes. About the safety. And some other warnings. Then we go. Warning lead hazardous. Yep, yep, don't eat your lead. And not join the NRA. Heritage Manufacturing Tag. And with this, it did not come with the extra cylinder, but you can get the 22 WMR cylinder deal for $30 with free shipping with the purchase of this. So that's a pretty good deal. They also offer holsters, belts, stocks, grips, apparel, and parts. All right, we got this out of the box. We're going to take a little look around at it. Now, this is the 6.5 inch barrel model. It is chambered in 22 long rifle, naturally. Um, and as I said, you can get the extra cylinder for it um, by spending a little bit of money and get free shipping. And it's right to your door. First off, the fit and finish of this um, is adequate. I mean, it is, it's a $150 pistol, you know, so you're going to get what you pay for, basically. Fit and finish and quality control um, could have been a little bit better on it. But it is what it is for what you get. I've noticed these grips that are on it are kind of kind of tacky, almost uh, grippy. When you put your hand on there, they kind of grip to it. It's kind of cool. Um, it is a single action. It only fires under single action, no double action. The safety is on, so the hammer is not striking the pin when I do this. It is only striking the safety mechanism. The safety is right here on the side. Up is on safe, down is on fire. The loading, loading port is on the side. You give two clicks back on this and you can rotate the barrel to load the chambers. Kind of cool. It's like a mini version of my 45 long colt, actually. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. But really, really cool. Trigger on it is pretty crisp. Not too bad. Hey. Let's take a trigger pull reading and see what we get out of this, just for the fun of it. We got my trusty Wheeler trigger pull gauge here. We got it on zero. We're going to cock this back, leave that safety on. We don't want to hit that, that pin without anything in there. And we have just about a three and a quarter pound trigger. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's absolutely amazing for a little 22 pistol. <laughs> Pistola, pistol, whatever you'd like to call it. We call it Blackie. Oh, <laughs> we could name this Blackberry, you know? It is all black and got a little, got a little sticky to it. So we, I think we're just gonna call this, we're gonna name this Blackberry. Let's see, to take the cylinder out of it for maintenance, it is quite simple. Um, they can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a bear when they're when they're brand new, but you take this pin out. Well, you push this little thing in here. You push that little springy thing in here, and you pull the pin out, and then the cylinder comes out the opposite side. The cylinder doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit of dirty in there. I'm going to clean it before I take it to the range. Naturally, run some uh, run some swabs through there, some Q-tips or something. <laughs> Probably Q-tips. <laughs> But we're going to give that a little clean before we take it out because we want to see the reliability of this. To reassemble, you put the cylinder back in the side, make sure the gate's down. Where it fits, get the pin in, find your hole. And there we go. Find the hole, click it in, leave the safety up, left hammer down. I said this is the 6.5 inch barrel. It does have a fixed front sight and a notch in the rear 
to align with. So I'm not going to be doing any accuracy shooting with this. I'm just going to be doing some fun plinking. Just running this thing through some paces with some different brands of 22. And we'll see how this goes. Now, here's the kicker about this. I bought this at my local FFL, and he really did me right on it. He also threw in a set of American flag grips for my pupils out there because this 22 Heritage Rough Rider is going to be a part of the package giveaway for my 3,000 subscriber giveaway. The giveaway will be done on Chris from the 740's Wednesday night chat. I asked him about this, if I could do this, and he said, heck yeah, bring it on. The date has not been announced because I'm about 120 some odd subscribers away from 3,000. As I get closer, the date will be put out there in community posts, and the giveaway will be done. There will be three prizes to be given away to the side chat. You will have to be on, you have to be on the chat and in the side chat to enter to win any of the prizes and all three prizes are excellent 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 i really haven't said what the other two are yet but since i got this in i'm going to take it to the range and throw some different brands of ammo through it and see what it likes and what it doesn't like i thought i would just give a little bit of a tippy tip there to be on the live chat with chris from the 740. He does these chats Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. It's always a good time. Uh, we have always have great guests. And he has honored me with a position on the panel. Absolutely wonderful. Love the guy to death. I shoot USPSA with him. I uh, get to see him all the time. Get to interact with him all the time on a personal base, on a friend level. And um, a man couldn't ask for a better friend out of someone, that's for sure. But that's all I got for this one, my pupils. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little short unboxing, a little tabletop. But we're going to take this out to the range, do some video shooting it, as well as a couple other 22s that I have. That one I have not done a video on, and the other one I'm just going to do an update run and gun video on it. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate all my subscribers and all my watchers. I really do. I answer every question I can, every question I'm able to. So, with that being said, always remember to keep blowing the smoke. Shoo.